Nokia Developer is a website, first and foremost, where mobile application developers from around the world can go to get tools and resources that they would need to develop mobile apps and content for use on the latest Nokia phones. Um, additionally, it really is a community. It is a place where developers from around the world can come together and help one another, support one another, answer questions about things that they might be working on, get advice and suggestions, and really work with one another. Um, more than anything else, Nokia Developer is a community. The developers that I've met over the past few years, I think a lot of them, they get ideas from, they certainly get ideas from one another, they get ideas from consumers um, who talk to them through various channels and give them suggestions. They look at what's available from the perspective of the hardware itself, you know, the actual phone, and look at some of the features and functionality of that phone to then see, is there something interesting that I could do there that might be unique to the capabilities of that phone? So for instance, recently Nokia has come out with some phones that have what's called near-field communication capabilities or NFC capabilities. And it's a way for people, if, if you have an NFC phone and if I have an NFC phone, we can easily share information with one another simply by tapping our phones together. Um, it's very cool functionality and because that's now sort of getting up to speed for a lot of people, um, things like that might be sources of inspiration for a developer who's thinking about new apps to develop. There's a relatively new feature on the Nokia Developer website that's called Projects. And Projects is truly, it's a collaboration space where members of the developer community can put uh, applications that are works in progress, things that they are are trying to refine and make better, they put them up on the project site as an item that they want to share with other members of the developer community. Uh, at that point, developers who are interested in, and actually end users, consumers, can also take a look at what's on the projects portion of the site and see the things that they're interested in, and, and you can like the things that you're interested in or follow those projects so that you get updates as new things are happening with that project. And it's a way for the developer then to get really instant feedback from not only developers but also from consumers uh, about the work that they're doing and use that as a way to build and, and make the work that they have that much better. Uh, and today, in fact, it's exciting. Just recently, we saw the total number of items in the project site uh, pass 1,000. Um, the project site has only been around since the beginning of this year, so the fact that it's taken off that quickly is really fantastic. Mm -hmm.